Hello, this is Mr. Rodwick. I'm going to be de uh, briefing the Java debugger today um, using JGRASP. Uh, this is, I would say, the biggest reason why I use JGRASP um, is basically because of the debugger. Now, um, I'm currently going to use uh, Java, I'm sorry, jcarol lab06 um, as my my problem lab because this is where I'm struggling. Hypothetically, right? So what I'm going to first do is just run this. So I'm not using the debugger yet. So this is kind of just to give me a little overview of what exactly is happening. So you can see here's my code. All right, my I'm having problems on task four here. So I want to pick up, go to the wall, pick up all the beepers. There's a maximum one per pile. And you can see my code crashes here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually, I already have a breakpoint here, I'm going to show you how to add that. So you can basically hover over this nice little gray strip over here. Um, there's also a way if you right click you can toggle a breakpoint. Um, but what that does is when I run around debug mode, my code's going to stop there. So since this point is after this line of code, it's going to create the robot, and this won't happen yet. Um, and it's going to stop right there. Um, you'll note that when you run it on debug mode, everything does go quite a bit slower. So it takes an extra 10 seconds or so to launch. All right, tasks one. So we can see, all right, here we go. So there's my program. And it stopped right at the beginning of tasks four. I'll just move that over a little bit so I can see both. So I, am, I have a mishmash of solutions. So. Uh, maybe disregard this guy for now. Um, so while the front is clear, all right, all right, that makes sense because I want to go over the wall. All right, so I want to pick up all the beepers. That makes sense. I want to move. Hmm, seems good so far. All right, so the front is still clear, so I'm still going to enter that. It's going to pick up a beeper, and then it's going to move. All right, that makes sense. While the front is clear, okay. Still is. All right. I'm gonna pick up a beeper. All right, that's good. Move. Okay. While the front is clear, it's good. I still want to keep moving. I want to. Oh. Interesting. So that worked well for the first three spots because there were beepers there. But now that there's no beeper, um, this code's gonna crash. You can see if I step one time. Right there we go. So it just crashed my code. So let's see. How do we do this? So what we want to do is we want to only want to move every time, so that's good. We want to pick up beepers anytime there's a beeper. OK, I think I see what happens. So potentially, what we want to do is we want to add an extra if statement in here. So if temp.next to a beeper, temp.beeper. Alright, let's try it again. Now, this time I'm going to demo a couple more things. You'll note that I just moved my breakpoint down one spot. And again, it's going to go all the way until it hits the breakpoint. So it's not going to stop until it does. And if it never hits your breakpoint, then your code will never stop. Alright, I'll move this over. Okay. So I use four buttons in JGrasp. First one is this button here. That's what I, the one I've been using, right? So it just moves forward one line. This button here will step into a method. Now this won't actually work for any of these because I can't view the code. Um, so I'm going to leave that one for now. This guy right here steps out of a method. Um, and you can see right here, this is my call stack. So my main method, I can actually click on that and see all the local variables there. Right, so I had a variable named file name. Right, I inputted that at the beginning. Right, and additionally up here you can see here's my my method that I called. So the main method is at this spot because we're actually inside of tasks four. So you can almost think of it like a little kind of going down a rabbit hole. Right, so we've gone down the tasks four rabbit hole. So uh, if I hit this button, it would finish this method and go back to the main method. 
And the last one I use is this guy right here. And what this does, this goes until we hit another breakpoint. So I actually have my breakpoint at the beginning of my while loop. So if I hit this guy, you can see each time I hit this, it's going to execute one iteration of my while loop. All right, so while front is clear, it is. So if it's next to a beeper, which it is, pick beeper, and then move. So if I run this once, it's going to pick up that beeper and move. All right now, you can see while front is clear, it still is, so it should enter the loop. All right? If it's next to a beeper, which it's not right now, so it won't actually enter this if statement, it will still move. So you can see, right, you can run that. And you can also step through once at a time. Right, so you can see once through the loop. Right, and this I actually have made a successful solution. So if I hit this button now, what it's going to do is it's going to finish this method and it's going to go all the way back to my main method. Right, and the last, so that's what that does is step out of the method. And the last one I use is this guy right here. What this does is this steps into uh, a method that you're on. So I was on the main method, right? I hit this button, so that actually jumps into lab five. You can see on my call stack over here. Right there, that is. All right, if I step one time, you can see here is my robot that just showed up. I can actually click this little ticker right here and see all my variables. So you can see um, X and Y are actually declared in the item class. And then these two are actually declared in the robot class. So it turns out X and Y actually live in item, whereas beepers and direction, they live in robot. Um, so those are all of my little tricks of the trade. Um, you can actually put multiple breakpoints in. So if I want to just go all the way until task six, I could put one here. And that, and then I could just hit this button. It'll execute that whole method. You can see it's running over here. All right, we finished that. And then we went back to the main method. And then we jumped into lab six. And so there's my breakpoint again. That concludes my demo on Java Debugger.